Texas Nitro Sport. Well, it just shut down. It's okay, we'll fire it up again. We got a vintage Traxxas Nitro Sport in the house. 3.3 slot, baby. With a special 3.3 engine modification. I'm not much, much of a Traxxas guy, but we'll see what it does. We can start this thing. The Traxxas Nitro Sport SE is the affordable and easy way to get started in nitro racing and still have the benefits of great Traxxas quality, performance, and unsurpassed customer service. It's powered by the proven TRX Pro 15 engine and delivers speeds of over 38 miles per hour. The easy start system starts the engine at the push of a button. The two-wheel drive Nitro Sport features the Nitro Magnum 281 ball bearing transmission, disc brake, and a T6 aluminum and composite chassis. Race savvy handling is right at your fingertips with a long travel independent suspension and smooth oil filled ultra shock nothing gives you more screaming high speed nitro action for the money than the nitro sport se it comes fully assembled and ready to race with a two channel tq radio system and a fully painted and trimmed body available in four different color schemes yeah we're using a starter box on this so it's not the easiest it was just running. I think uh, the idle is too low. We should inspect uh, the carb itself to see when we close down the idle. Uh, yeah. Cause when I when I gave it a uh, brake all the way, yeah. it shut the motor off. So that means your your car barrel's closing too much over there. You know? Yeah. I'll see if I can adjust it with the body. Yeah. Yeah. See if you can. All right. See. You. Ready? I got all it. All right, right. Let's here. do the just uh, idle set screw. Turn it in like right. a quarter yeah, of a turn. I, just I think. Did a good bit. So all right. If I can uh, line this piece. Of the get the all right. Got the radio. All right. Much better. Yeah, but it's the brakes are. I can adjust that on here. Yeah, the idle is still too low. Throttle, I got it. Throttle, friend. Might be toast. Yeah, that might be one of the problems. But once we get it going, yeah, we just gotta make sure it uh, doesn't hit nothing. into the damn oh, car tire. Oh shit! The hell? Well, Bro. how fast did it hit the car tire, right? No, well that's the old speed. There's no way yeah. it hit it at 27. It's okay, it's aluminum, it'll be fine. Nothing happened. Oh. Can't kill it. Nissan has a very good crash protection system. Oh right? my God. Nah, it's solid. Bro. It's missing nothing. It's all right. Take two, take two. Take two, we're back. Let's not hit the pickup truck. Sickening. Starting launch on this vintage Traxxas Nitro Sport with a 3.3 motor. I just hope it doesn't shut down all the way in the deep over there. This thing is moving pretty quick. Yeah, it shut down pretty quick too. Sickening. I think the clutch, man. Yeah. I like noticed when you're letting so you off the high. throttle, the clutch, right? It must be the clutch when you're low idle, it just yeah. shuts down a little bit. 
Bro, I need to make one of these a steering trim adjustment. The knob on here? Yeah. Because right now I gotta go. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, hold on. No, I gotta go to like sub trim now. Oh my god, it's We're... annoying. Oh, hold on. The trim right here for the steering. Yeah, the steering and the throttle is on the side. I'd rather have a I don't think you could do it to channel five and six. I think you just gotta. Take three. Take three. Hand launch. Take three. Oh, sh what happened? Ah, oh, the spur gear's busted. I hear it all the way from here. Damn it. It's stuck. Spur gear. It's roasted. Oh, we got another nitro on the track. Hold on. What the hell is that? That looks like the low C8 truggy. It looks angry from here. Man, some of the best brakes in the RC industry. <laughs> Running the brand new LRP 28, right Dan? Yeah. I know guys the clutch was bad that's why basically it kept shutting down forget about the clutch let's just talk a little bit about Traxxas as a brand now my friend Hellfire said he ain't much of a Traxxas guy and a lot of people share that opinion but you know what this is a basic quick in stock look at a main let's take a look at all the available nitros that Traxxas still sells the public today and look at the sickeningly low prices the nitro rustler $334 the Nitro Slash, which will hit 50 miles per hour, $349. We'll go down the list a little bit later, but I just want to uh, talk a little bit about $334. Let's suppose you bought the Traxxas Nitro Rustler, which in reality is way better than the Nitro Sport that I presented in this video. This is the more modern 2.5 system. It has the modern TQI radio. It's a nice, nice truck that will hit 50 miles an hour. And it's a much better looking chassis than the old Traxxas Nitro Sport was. So, let's for instance assume you're a Traxxas hater. That's fine. That's fine. You're allowed to be a Traxxas hater. That's why you guys are on this channel. I appreciate your opinion. And if you're a Traxxas hater, you can tell me that in the comments. I'm not going to blow up your spot, okay? I don't even know what blow up your spot means. I just know that $334 is a good price. Just to show you that Traxxas... Is not trying to steal your money, at least when it comes to nitros. I can't really say that about the X-Max or the XRT. I did a time value of money calculation here. So the question is, what is $201 in 2004 worth today? So I basically did an estimate, right? The goal was to get to $334 today in 2024, which is uh, exactly 20 years later. I just arbitrarily picked 20 years as a starting point. So $334 today would have been... 201 dollars 20 years ago i mean if you ask me traxxas nitros at least they seem to be relatively inflation proof great value like i said if you want to go 50 miles per hour get the nitro rustler i'll put the links in the description to this video they're available in well currently two colors there's blue and then there's another blue so if you like blue blues for you but if you're interested in some of the other models, let me just do a quick look at some of the other in-stock models. You have the classic 2.5 T-Max. If you're looking to get a monster truck, I would highly recommend you pick up a T-Max 3.3. This is the one you want. It's the extended chassis. It is light years beyond uh, better in quality, performance, and fit and finish and equipment than the original T-Max 2.5 or the Pro 15 ever was. This is a great truck. I have a lot of these videos on my channel. But if you want the ultimate beast master for the Traxxas monster trucks with reverse, then the Traxxas Revo is the one you want to get. 
it still features the only monster truck that comes with factory reverse cantilever style inboard shocks, electric start system, dual chamber Traxxas resonator pipe, all of the great Traxxas TQI app features, comes with a battery pack, comes with a spare glow plug, great dual stage air filter, the fuel tank will never let you down and it holds a vacuum. Around the 500 plus price range, there's really only the HPI Savage X4.6 you can get, but this has reverse, it has legendary parts support, and as you saw, Traxxas is inflation proof. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of my opinion. I present it here. And if you want a sickening nitro with a two speed, then the Traxxas Slayer, that is what you want. Until next time, see you guys later. If you smell what the Nitro Gang is cooking. So fine, but her breath is like, she says she want to dance, but she don't know how to move. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.